Stand in Tadasana. As you inhale, bring your arms up overhead, lengthening your tailbone down between your heels. As you exhale, flow forward, releasing your head and neck, and just allowing your spine to lengthen. Inhale, look forward. Exhaling, gently draw your chest towards your legs. Inhaling, lengthen forward again. And then exhaling, bend your knees, place your hands down, and step your left and right foot back. Press back into downward dog. As you lift your sit bones higher towards the sky, press your thighs back. Inhaling, bend your right knee and place your right foot between your two hands. Slowly coming up, place your hands onto your hips. Press down through your right foot and lengthen from beneath your right thigh all the way to your right knee. Lengthen your arms also away so that the chest opens. And then as you exhale, release the hands onto the inside of the right foot and slowly spill onto the outside of the right foot. Left hand reaches to the ground right hand comes up onto your right knee and gently twist away from your right knee explore your breathing here allow it to be easy and then as you exhale bring both your hands back and step back into downward dog press down through your thumb and your index fingers Completely let go your head and your neck and lengthen your heels gently towards the ground. As you inhale, come into plank, keeping your hips, your chest, and your heels in one diagonal line. As you exhale, bend your elbows to your ribs, lengthen your chest towards the floor, and then roll the chest gently up into cobra. If you're able to, you can also lift your thighs off the floor, coming into Upward Dog. Exhaling, roll over your toes and press back into Downward Dog. Engage your thigh muscles so you're gently drawing your kneecaps up, even as you press the thigh muscles back towards the hamstrings. And then as you inhale, this time lift your left knee up and bring your left foot between your two hands. Slowly come on up, place your hands onto your left knee and then onto the hips. Check that both of the hips are level. Steady yourself pressing down through your left foot and then slowly bring both your arms up and out to the sides. Breathe here. Exhaling, bring your hands to the inside of your left foot and then slowly spill onto the outside of the left foot, extending your left knee more to the left. Right hand touches the ground, left hand rests behind the left knee and you're just gonna turn your left chest up to the sky. Again, a spinal twist. Slowly bring both the hands back to the floor again and step back into downward dog. In this downward dog, focus on lengthening from beneath your forearms so it becomes lighter beneath your elbows and your forearms. Feel the breath filling your belly. And then inhaling again, step your right foot forward between your two hands and coming up to stand. Have both of your feet facing forward 
inner feet parallel and then inhaling bringing your arms up over your head come into a gentle back bend lengthen your tailbone forward so that your lower back doesn't compress and then exhaling slowly dip forward interlace your hands behind you and lengthen your knuckles up and away towards the ground press down equally through both feet and completely let the weight of the head draw down towards the ground take another breath here And then slowly release the arms and bring your right hand to its your left ankle or wherever you can reach on your left leg and twist and open your left chest, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, come back to the center, reach your left hand around your right ankle and lengthen your left arm and left chest up to the sky. Allow your spine to just gently unravel. And we're going to turn back towards the right foot, stepping back into downward dog. Inhale, we're going to flow forward to plank, bringing the chest right over the arms, the wrists, and keeping the hips and the heels in one line. Exhale, bend your elbows, hug them in towards your rib cage, and then inhale again, come up to cobra or to upward dog. Exhaling, roll over your toes, come into downward dog. So really take your time as you practice. Let each transition, let each movement be complete. There's no hurry here. And on your next inhale, bring your left foot forward between your two hands. Straighten your front leg and turn both of your feet to face forward so the inner feet are parallel. Hands onto your hips, take a deep breath in. And then inhaling, we're just gonna lift and lengthen the fingertips all the way up, coming into a gentle back bend. Exhale, we're gonna lengthen the chest forward and interlace your fingers the other way behind you. Clasp the fingers and then gently straighten the arms lengthening the knuckles again away from you and down towards the ground just go only as far as you feel comfortable and then really enjoy breathing here Exhaling, slowly release the arms, press down with your feet, and inhaling, engage your belly a little, coming back to standing. Turn towards your left leg, and then bring both your hands down to the floor, and step back into downward dog. Just completely relax here, just taking the shape of downward dog, but allowing your breath to become deep and relaxed again. Inhale, look forward between your two hands. Exhale, bend your knees, and if you like, jump forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen through your heart. Exhale, again, surrender and fold. Pressing down through your feet. As you inhale, gently bend the knees. Lengthen your fingertips up to the sky. Bringing your arms right next to your ears. 
for Ukkatasana, Fierce Pose. Feel as though you're squeezing gently your inner thighs towards each other. And roll your sit bones down towards the ground. Create more length in your lower back. As you exhale, we're gonna turn to our left, right elbow outside your left knee. Press your palms together so that you're in Ukkatasana twist with your hands in prayer. If you're able to, you can open the arms out, lengthening the left fingertips up to the sky and the right fingertips down towards the earth. Again, it's not about how deep you're able to go. Instead, explore your breath. Inhale, lift and lengthen, looking forward. Exhale, release and fold. And then again, pressing down through the feet, bend through your knees and lengthen your arms up towards the sky. Fingertips reaching away, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other, even as you roll and lengthen your tailbone down. Take your left elbow outside your right knee and again, bring your palms together pressing the palms into each other, extending the elbows away from each other. Measured breaths. Exhaling, slowly release, coming back to the center. Lift and lengthen through your spine before folding all the way in. And then inhaling, gently look up and then step back, both feet into downward dog. As you exhale, draw your chest towards your thighs and feel that opening across your shoulders and your upper back. Inhale, bring your right foot forward between your two hands. You can keep your left knee lifted or you can relax the left knee down. Take your right hand onto your right hip, release your left hand to the ground and come into a gentle twist. If you can, take your left hand now outside your right knee, reaching your left hand either onto a block or onto the ground. So it's up to you, you can choose either option. Slowly untwist, place both of your hands down and step your left foot forward to come back into standing forward bend. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest. Exhale, again, fold. And then inhaling, pressing down through the feet, bring your arms around the sides and all the way up, reaching to the sky. Exhale, press the palms towards the heart. Feel yourself fully present here. On your next inhale, lift and lengthen, coming into a gentle back bend. And then exhaling, bend through your knees, coming back into Fierce Pose, Utkatasana. Create more length in your lower back, lengthen your tailbone down and forward. Exhaling, bring your left elbow outside your right knee. And again, bring your palms together. And with the palms pressing against each other, get the elbows to lengthen away from each other. Slowly twist through your spine, 
feeling the twist spiral from the lower back to the mid back to the upper back. Exhale, release and fold. Step your left leg back and come into a low lunge. Take a few moments here just to feel your connection to the ground, through the feet, through the press of the back heel. And then we're going to transition. So bring your left leg halfway in. Take your hands onto your hips, lengthen your chest forward, and then slowly, if you can, straighten your left leg up and back. Your left leg doesn't have to be very high, just lift it to wherever you can, pointing the toes down, extending the heel away while the chest lengthens forward. Feel as though the crown of your head and your heel is coming into one straight line. And then exhaling, press back into downward dog. Take a deep breath. Inhaling, we're gonna step the left foot forward coming into our low lunge. Take both of your hands onto your knees and lengthen up through the spine. Left hand onto your left hip. We're gonna bring the right hand outside the left knee. Coming into our variation on the Parsva Konasana twist. So again, it's up to you to keep the back knee up or to just relax it onto the floor, whatever is easier. So even in the stillness, find your movement through your breath. And then exhaling, we're just gonna bring the left leg in halfway and slowly lift and lengthen the left leg up and away, bringing your hands onto your hips. Keep your chest lengthening forward, keep the back of the neck relaxed, and feel your back heel lengthening back. Front thigh is strong. Exhaling, release, stepping back into downward dog. And then we're just gonna drop the knees and pull back into child's pose. Lengthening the outer hips back and resting the weight of the hips onto your heels. Just letting the arms, the shoulders rest, the forehead completely relax onto the mat. We're gonna really take our time here. So just let yourself feel the breath expanding into the lower back, almost like a massage. See if you can really let go and let your heart rest towards the earth. Feel how the breath enters the body and animates the body, even in stillness. And then inhaling, we're going to come onto our hands and knees for a round of cat and cow. Inhaling, we're going to lift the chest and the sit bones. Exhaling, we're going to round the upper back, releasing the weight of the head. And again, inhaling, flexing through the spine. Exhaling, arching up. A 
couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. Really dropping your tailbone down. And then inhaling, rolling the chest open. Exhale, lengthening between the vertebrae. Slowly bring your knees forward and just come into kneeling. You can either have your toes tucked or you can release your feet. We're just going to close our eyes here and take a moment to sense the stillness that we've created so far. Then we're just gonna bring our legs forward and cross the legs, right shin in front. Inhale, bring both of your arms up. Exhale, release and twist to your left. With every inhalation, lengthen through your spine. With every exhalation, see if you can gently come into the twist a little more deeply. And then inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, let's turn to the other side. Left hand outside your right knee, right hand behind you. Gently see if you can ground down through your sit bones, even as you gently turn from the pelvis through the spine all the way up so that you're looking over your right shoulder. Exhale, release. We're coming back to the center, breathing in, lengthening up, and then exhaling, we're going to take the right elbow under the left and pressing the palms into each other. Extend your elbows forward and fold forward in Garudasana. Let your upper back round. Let the pinkies draw down towards the earth. And even while you're here, you're still letting the chest lead forward so that you can feel the outer thighs drawing down and the outer hips gently feeling a little bit of stretch. Exhale, slowly release. Just take your fingertips behind you and we're gonna bring the legs up so your body forms a V shape. Extend your heels up and away and keep the chest lifted. Your fingertips are very light on the ground. And slowly, we're just going to bring the arms forward, lengthening away with the fingertips and not allowing the upper back to cave or collapse. Exhaling, bend your right knee, open your right knee out to the side, right heel pressing against the inner left thigh. Janushrasasana. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach forward. Your hands can either be holding onto your foot or you can use a belt or a scarf around your foot. And with your hands connected to either the foot or to the scarf, slowly draw yourself breath by breath, chest lengthening towards the toes, bellies lengthening forward onto the thigh. Breathing into this. It doesn't matter how far forward you can go. Instead, simply go where you're comfortable and you feel a challenge that you can breathe and be aware in.
And then inhaling, we're just going to come into a side twist. So you're going to take your left arm along the floor, raise your right arm overhead, and then the right hand reaches towards your left foot. Or again, you can use a belt around your foot and then take your left hand to hold on to the belt. And just breathing into that length that is created all the way along the left side of the body. If it's easier, you can just extend your arm overhead. And then inhaling, slowly coming back up. And just turning forward. Lengthen your right leg out and pushing away through both heels just clearing through the legs take a breath in staff pose and then inhaling we're just going to bend the knees in towards the chest again you can keep the knees bent or if possible lengthen out both the legs and then bring your arms forward navasana boat pose Smooth breaths, again, not letting the chest collapse. Exhaling, this time take your left shin in front of your right. And bringing your arms out to the sides, take your left elbow under your right and pressing the palms together into eagle. Lift and lengthen through your heart, and then as you exhale, bring your elbows, if possible, outside the shins. Release your pinkies towards the mat. Let go the head and the neck. So again, this is a hip opener, also a shoulder opener. Just allowing it all to happen just through the magic of the pose. Let gravity help you here and no need to push too hard. And then slowly release bringing your fingertips behind you and again just lifting the legs to wherever you're comfortable coming into Navasana palms facing each other fingertips and heels lengthening away back of the neck is relaxed exhaling bend your left knee we're going to come into Janusrasasana on the left hand side Press your left heel against your right thigh. Inhale, breathing in. Exhale, lengthen all the way forward over your right leg. Either hands to foot or hands to a belt. And then making that connection, gently soften the elbows, breathing into it. If you find the forward bends challenging at all, you can always sit a little higher next time before coming into a forward bend. So you can take a block or a pillow under your hips. And then exhale, slowly coming on up. Straighten both your legs. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, we're going to lengthen forward, coming into Paschimottanasana. Full forward bend. Again, hands to feet or to a scarf or belt. 
as you inhale, you're always trying to lengthen the chest along the legs. So it's not so much about reaching the head onto the leg, but about keeping that length in your spine, elongating as you're breathing in. And as you exhale, just allowing that yielding that's happening along your back and along the backs of the legs to soften and just bring you gently in, breath by breath. And then slowly release, bringing your arms all the way up, breathing in. And then exhaling, place your hands behind you, fingertips pointing forward, and bring your feet closer in. Press down through your feet, lift the hips up, and we're coming into Prasvottanasana. If you're comfortable, you can let your head release back. Your legs are strong here as if you're gently again squeezing the inner thighs towards each other and you're lengthening your tailbone forward between your two knees. Exhale, slowly release. And we're going to lie back down for half bridge pose. Inhale, press the feet, lift the pelvis, roll your shoulders under, Interlace your fingers and lengthen out your arms. Draw your knuckles along the mat towards your heels and let the chest lift up towards your chin. See if you can create a little bit more lightness by lengthening your tailbone forward towards your knees. And again, just softly breathing. As you exhale, slowly release. Then we're coming into happy baby pose. So bring your knees in and take your hands to the outside of your feet. Let your knees widen out towards the sides. And then as if you're pressing the soles of your feet up towards the sky, then resist by drawing your knees down towards the earth. Your arms are not working too hard at all. They're simply just gentle weights drawing down onto the outside of the feet. And then slowly release. We're coming into a recline twist. So straighten your left leg and bend your right knee. Cross the right knee over the body towards the left and then lengthen out the right arm away from you. You can either turn to look towards your right arm or if you're more comfortable, just allow yourself to be neutral with your neck. Inhale, coming back to the center bringing both the knees in towards the chest. This time, keep the left knee bent, extend the right leg out. Then we're gonna take the left knee over the body and the left knee down towards the right. Left arm is extended up and away and turning either to look towards the left or just remaining neutral with the back of the head resting. Just breathing into those outer hips, allowing our spine to decompress and neutralize one last time. And then exhaling, we're just going to lengthen both the legs out along the floor. Relax the arms, palms facing up. Just adjust the shoulders so both sides feel even. Lengthen the shoulder blades down. Let both sides of the hips feel parallel. And then just completely release the body along the mat. 
and then really luxuriate in your Shavasana. The next few minutes of having nothing to do except to let the practice integrate by itself. And feeling yourself softly just yielding to the support of the earth. 